Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin wa salatu wa salam ala ashrafil anbiya'i wal mursalin nabiyyina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in wa ba'd masarifu zakah categories of zakah recipients there are eight categories on which zakah must be spent which Allah has explained clearly it states that this is a duty imposed by Allah and and it is based on knowledge and wisdom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says انما الصدقات للفقراء والمساكين والعاملين عليها والمؤلفه قلوبهم وفي الرقاب والغارمين وفي سبيل الله وابن السبيل فريضه من الله والله عالم حكيم الصدقه الزكاه are only for the fuqara the poor and the masakin the needy and those employed to collect the funds and to attract the hearts of those who have been inclined towards Islam, and to the captives, and for those in debt, and for Allah's cause, that is, for Mujahidun, those who fight in a just battle, and for the wayfarer, a traveler who is cut off from everything, a duty imposed by Allah, and Allah is all knower all wise. These eight categories are entitled to be given the zakah. The first and the second are the fuqara and masakin, the poor and the needy. They should be given zakah to meet their needs. The difference between the fuqara and the masakin is that the fuqara are in greater need. One of them cannot find enough to suffice himself and is dependent for a year. The masakin are better off than the fuqara because they can find half of what will suffice them or more. These people should be given zakah because of their need. The scholars said they should be given what they need to suffice them and their families for one year because when the year passes, zakah will become due again. The third is those employed to collect or administer the funds. That is those who are appointed by the authorities. They should be given from the zakah. The fourth is to attract the hearts of those who have been inclined towards Islam. The fifth category of those who are entitled to zakah is the slaves. The scholars explain this in three ways. The mukatib or slave who has entered into a contract of manumission to buy himself or to buy his freedom from his master for his sum to be paid later. He may be given enough money to fulfill this contract with his master. Number two, a slave who may be bought with zakah, with zakah funds and set free. Number three, a a Muslim prisoner who has been captured by the kuffar, the non-believers, and the kuffar may be given zakah, zakah funds to ransom this prisoner. Number six, those who are in debt. The scholars divided debt into two categories. Debt in court to bring about reconciliation and debt in court because of need. Number seven, for Allah's cause. What is meant here is jihad for the sake of Allah. The eighth is wayfarers, that is travelers who are cut off from everything and have no money. Such a traveler may be given enough zakah to enable him to reach his homeland. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.